Well, I hope you enjoyed the first part of this uh, video kind of tutorial here where we created this little intro video and rendered it out to a video and tracks here. Let's quickly uh, save as, and I'm going to save, last time I saved as Linux 01, I'm going to save as Linux 02, just because I like to save steps every once in a while as I go every time I make a big change. So I rendered stuff out, so I saved it. We also had keyframes on because we were making keyframes earlier. Let's turn that off because we're not using it now. Let's import some video that I captured. So we're actually going to have some video in our video. We're going to hit O here and go to where I have the video that I took this weekend. And I'm going to grab the clips I want to use. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, concentrate to existing tracks. So it just adds them to the end here. And as you can see, uh, I like to take a lot of clips. Uh, they're all about three to six seconds long, uh, except for you get here and you see I have a big long black shot, same here at the end. And what those are, are I like to grab audio for the, um, the project I'm working on. So at some point I put my lens cap on, set the camera down on a table or a tripod off to the side, far enough away that you don't actually hear people talking uh, like actual words, you just hear the crowd roar, you know. And I record a minute or two of that to use as audio in my video. Uh, we don't need that right this second, so what we're going to do is we're going to double click that clip, click delete, same with the uh, end clip here, and click delete. And uh, let's see, we're going to go here. So now we have our clips, and we have the audio from them, but I don't have any shots of anyone actual talking to the camera. So we can just hit D twice, and it deletes those audio tracks. Uh, now, we're looking, we go from our little intro here, it fades out and then quickly it cuts to here. Let's uh, go to here to our video transitions, grab dissolve, go like that, so now that will fade in. And let's uh, start adding that audio that we uh, talked about earlier, that uh, we just removed those clips. But what we're going to do is, we're going to select our timeline here, and we're going to hit control T twice, and that adds two audio tracks, left and right channel and we're going to unarm the video track. Uh, and now I'm going to grab one of those audio tracks I grabbed and I'm going to grab it over here. And when I brought it over, since we uh, unarmed this track, it only brought the audio over, which is great because that's exactly what we want. You can hear the audio going when I press play there. It's a little loud, we'll get to that in a second. What we're going to do is we're going to drag uh, the audio so that it starts when the video starts because we don't want that audio necessarily during the intro there. Uh, with both those tracks armed, we can select the band here, and what we're going to do is we're going to lower the audio so that the audio fades in instead of hitting hard. There we go. And you can, you know, further along you move this, the longer the fade-in will be. We also don't want the audio to be loud, and we definitely don't want it clipping, but in this case, this audio is background. We're going to throw some music on here in a little bit. This is just atmospheric stuff. We're going to lower the audio to about there, probably. There you go. So you can hear it. We might change it a little bit again later on once we add the music, just to get it to how we like it. Uh, I'm also going to save now, because you should save constantly. And what I'm going to do is I am going to... You can see that I ran like three seconds short of having this audio be long enough to uh, reach the video length in the project. So I am once again going to grab the audio from here, drop it in there, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale back here, scale back the first one, then I'm going to go to the end here, actually let's make view the whole time track, make it easier, and we'll scale it to here, we'll actually make it a little bit longer, I like to make it a little bit longer than the video because I like to have the video fade to black and then the audio fade out, that's just my preference, and what we're going to do here is we're going to go audio transition, cross dissolve, cross dissolve, and now we can zoom back in here and we have a one second fade from one audio to another so we don't have a hard cut from one another, press play, there you go, you don't even hear that there's a cut there. We'll quickly save this, you can go file save or you can just hit S and it saves, it tells you down here that it was written. And so now we got our video our intro, video, and audio. Let's have the audio fade out. Click here, click here and drag that down to where you would like it to fade out to. And we will have this little video shot fade out as well. 
Uh, we'll do it from about here. Uh, we can actually just use a transition. You can use the bands, which is how I normally do it. Uh, but you can also grab uh, dissolve probably here and it will fade out. But doing it this way, you still have to drag the clip over unless you want it to fade out that still shot. So you'll see, see it grabbed a, yeah, I guess it doesn't, you can't use transition that way unless you have a black video over there. So we'll just do bands like I was originally going to do. We have to arm that track for the bands to take effect. Grab it, drag it all the way down so it's all the way black. Let's see how that looks. There you go. And uh, like I said, if you want to line the audio up, I like to have the audio fade out. I'm even going to have the music probably go a little bit longer than that. Save the project again. And now we're just going to import our music. Let's hit O. Go to wherever you have your music saved. Um, and I'm going to go here to music in my folder. And I'm going to choose a song. And I'm going to choose probably... I'll choose this one. I haven't actually picked what song I want yet, so let's see how this sounds. What we're going to do is we're going to append a new track. And what it did was it adds, it's importing it, creating the file. Boop. And now you can see we have, if we view the full project, two other audio tracks down here, which are the left and right channels for the music. And uh, let's see how our video is looking so far. Already I've seen that I want to move the audio a little bit. And what I want to do is the music starts off real quiet here and then comes in loud here. Why don't we line that up so it gets loud as the video starts? That would be great. So let's go here. Uh, make sure you only have these tracks armed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mouse over here. I'm going to hit Shift Tab, which deselects all the other tracks, and then Tab over this track. So we have these two tracks selected. And we're going to grab and we're going to left click. And we're going to grab, I'm going to drag about there. Okay, a little bit further. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Uh, and actually, I'm going to now drag it a little bit further because I want it as it fades in. And now I'm going to center click and drag that way. If I didn't do that, it would readjust the whole audio again. We don't want that. so. And you'll notice that, well, while I'm playing it, that uh, we start hitting red and it starts saying over here. That means we're clipping. So we're going to lower, <coughs> excuse me, the music audio a little bit. Not a whole lot. Uh, we'll get to negative 0.10. Let's see how that sounds. Still, I got a little clip of over there. So we'll just lower it just a little bit because the audio doesn't sound too bad now, but when you save it, depending on what format you save it on, you might start getting clipping and popping noises if it's too loud. So. Okay. Video is looking good. Only thing left to do is how are we going to fade the music out? Easiest way is just fade out. Now, if you want to get into it, you can actually trim the video, the audio down, and try to get it so you can get a cutting point and actually have the song fade out where the song ends. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to drag this to here. Then I'm going to zoom in, drag it back out a bit, and I'm just going to do a big, long, slow fade for the audio to be out. Let's see how that looks. That's good. I probably will play with it a little bit lower, make, more, make it a little bit longer of a fade out. But that's how I edit this video. And uh, the next little video clip in my uh, YouTube account, I'll have a link here, will be the final edit video. Obviously, you'd want to render it at this point. I'm going to hit S to save, Shift R to render. I'm going to render it as raw DV, or you can choose another file format. Uh, at this point, remember, uh, we did replace current project. If you want to do that, do that. I'm going to choose insert nothing. 
because uh, I don't want it to replace my current project. So, and I'm going to call it Linux Show 2009. Oh, don't use the number pad, use the numbers at the top. There we go. And I'm going to uh, click OK, and it will render. And uh, it's actually going to go pretty fast because all the video is already DV format. It only had to render the transitions. It's already done rendering. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed the edited copy.